Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will talk about the basics and small basics. So we will learn how to write text in the text window, how, what are variables, how to make them, and how to store data and variables, and what are the if then state if then what is the what are the if then statement if then else statement if else if then state statement okay. It will be looking like a lot, but it is very easy. First of all, we'll uh, we will write text window. So, what is text window? Text window is a class. Okay, it is a class. So there are two classes: text window and graphics window. Okay, we will only learn about text window is in this class in this video. Text window. After the class, you put dot. Okay, so after the dot, there are many keywords that you can use. Okay, so we will be using right now. Right. Okay, then we will write. We have to brackets and double quotation are very important. Hello world. Okay. And close quotation mark, close brackets. Then we will run this. Hello world. And we need to continue. So it wrote that on the text window. Okay. Uh, so you are thinking what is the difference between right and right line? So first of all you saw the right function. Now I show the right line function. So you can see it hello world. Okay. So could you spot the difference? For the ones who couldn't, I will write, I will tell you what is the difference. So when I use right line, it writes the text that I wanted to write. Then it moves the cursor to the next line. So if I run this program, it it is moving the cursor to the next line, right? And when I use uh, write function, it is moving the cursor. It is not moving the cursor. It is keeping it in the same line. Okay. Okay, because press any key to continue on the same line. Okay. So you you learn how to use the Use the text window from uh, class and how to write on the text window. After that, we'll do. So, what are variables? So, variable is a place in the computer's memory where data is temporarily stored. So, a variable can be anything: J, K, A, B, L, D, nine, C, no name. It cannot be numbers. Okay, a variable can only be uh, letters or, or text or special icons. Okay, or special symbols. Okay, so I will use a first of all small basic is case insensitive. This means that you can put anything, you can write text uh, t small w small in this, it doesn't matter. You can also uh, write the small lowercase letters of the variable. So this is uppercase, so I can write a also. Okay, so after that, I will write hello world. So hello world is a string. Okay. Hello world is a string. Hello world is a string because it is a sentence or a word. It it is made up of letters. So we have to put double quotation marks. Okay, here. Hello world. Hello world. So as you can see here, I have assigned the variable the value hello world. Okay. So we what is the use of variables? Because I uh, will tell you the rules uh, because if we make a very big program, okay, and we have to write, write the same thing again and again and again, then it will be very tedious to write it again, the, the words again and again and again. So, what you can do is we can assign a variable, the assign a variable, the uh, the word that you wanted to, uh, to assign, and then you can just simply put. And then you can just simply put you can just simply put the variable. Okay, so first of all, if I do this, so as you can see, this there is a problem. Uh, this is a problem. It is printing a, not the variable a. Uh, so this is because we are the computer. We, we have put double quotation marks. So the computer is thinking that this is a string, not the variable. 
okay so we always if you want to put the we have to write the variable we don't put them in brackets we put them without we put them in brackets we don't put them in the double quotation marks so as you can see here if i run this program now it will uh, sorry oh sorry sorry so as you can see here what is happening over here it uh, the the window do not write anything so this is because we first we uh, first we told the computer to write this write the variable a but after we write the variable a, we are telling the computer to initialize a as hello world the computer cannot understand what to do so what we'll do is we'll put the variable we'll assign the variable first then we will write it so now it should work so you can see it work it is working now now so what is the if then statement so first of all i will i will so first of all what i will do is now i will write text window right line right line enter a number okay so i'm telling a, uh, the user the user to enter a number okay after that when he enters a number I, what i will do is uh, i will make a variable a and i will store I, and I will store the number that you have written in the variable a so text window dot read number so read reads anything it can read text also it can read numbers also but read number only reads numbers okay so this can help uh, like if there is a confusing sentence then if you put read number the, the user cannot put text num uh, text so, uh, so he will not get confused okay First of all, after that, so what I did here is I stored the the number that you've written in the variable. So uh, a is equal to text window. The the thing that you have written, uh, the the thing that you have written on the sent the number and read number. So it will read the number that you have written and I have stored it in the variable a. Okay. After that, what I will use the if then statement. So if if then statement the if then statement allows you to make decisions to different do, do different things so like if it, if it's a condition okay if it's a condition so after the uh, so if so we have to put the condition so that the if then statement works so i will put a is greater than 10 and what it will do a is your number only because I have stored your number in that only. Okay, so a is if is a is greater than ten. If a is greater than ten, then what it will do is it will write text window dot write line. Your number is smaller than ten. Your number is bigger than ten. Okay. What is happening here? It will if the your number if a which is your number is greater than ten, it will write your number is greater than ten. Then I will end the if statement. After that, I will write if again if a a is smaller than ten, then what I will do is text window dot write line your number is smaller than 10 okay and end the if statement so then you see what is happening that if your number which is a is greater than 10 then it will write your number is bigger than 10 and if a your number which is a is smaller than 10 then it will write your number is smaller than 10 so if i run this program if I put uh, 50, 53, then I'll put your number is bigger than 10. And if I put uh, put uh, 5, then it put your number is smaller than 10. Now you will be seeing, seeing that it is it is a very big program because uh, see it is a very small, it is very small, but we can further make it smaller. So what we can do here is instead of end if over here, we will use else. So in the else statement we don't have to put the condition okay 
what is happening here? If a is greater than 10, then it will write your number is bigger than 10. And a, if a is smaller than 10, then it will write your number is smaller than 10. Okay. Else, so else, else, as you can, as you can see here, else means that there can be only two. Is, uh, else works. Else state. If then else statement works. If there are only two conditions. If there are only two conditions, like yes or no. Okay. It doesn't work for two. Uh, two uh, more than two. Okay. So if I run this program, it will run the same. If I use fifteen and it will write your number is bigger than ten. If I write five, then it will write your number is smaller than ten. But now this is the where we face a problem. If we write 10, if we write 10, then it will write your number is smaller than 10. But in real reality, 10 is equal to 10. So what is happening over here is that is that if a is greater than 10, so 10 is obviously not greater than 10, so it will not write your number is bigger than 10. So but uh, the value of a, uh, the value of a and 10 can have three different polity, uh, pol uh, three different three different three different uh, properties okay it can be a is greater than 10 a is smaller than 10, and a is equal to 10 so we have not put that so it l statement is only considering two two uh, two uh, the two conditions okay and reality there are three conditions so what we can uh, to fix this problem what we will do is we will use the else if function so the else function is the same thing it, it just it makes the program a little smaller so if then if a is greater than 10 then your number is bigger than 10 else if now we have to put the condition because this is else if so if means that there is a bigger condition so else if a is smaller than 10 then it will write this text window dot write and your number is smaller than 10 and then after that we can use else because now we are considering this whole as one one condition okay and after the else that is the second condition so else text window dot right line your number is 10 okay your number is 10 now what will happen here is the first will check if a is greater than 10 if it is not greater than 10 it will check else if a is smaller than 10 and it, uh, if it is smaller than 10, write your number is smaller than 10. If it is not smaller than 10 and is not greater than 10, then it will get right. We don't have to put the condition again. We can just do else because there is only one more condition. Text window dot write in your number is 10 because there can be only one more possibility. Okay, then I will end the function. End if, okay. So as you can see here, if uh, so after the else if we have to put a then also, it is very important. Because there is if, so there has to be a then also. So when we run this, I have wrote 10. It will write your number is 10. That is good. And if I put uh, uh, 2020, then it will write your number is bigger than 10. 2020. Okay. And if I write uh, 5, then it would your number is smaller than 10. So we fix the problem. So this was just the overview in small basics there can, there are a lot more things to learn in small basics so thank you for watching my video and please like share and subscribe and we will meet in the next video in the next video i will talk about something about gk okay we it is good to change the subject so thank you for watching my video bye